Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about writing some basic JavaScript. So I'm going to show you where you can write your JavaScript, how to set up JavaScript, and then some basic JavaScript commands that we can use just to sort of get our feet wet. Now, JavaScript is a programming language that was designed to be used on the web. So generally on the web, you're using a language called HTML, and you can also use another language called CSS. And those two languages are really good at sort of helping you to display your content. But you can use a language like JavaScript, which sort of ups the power of your website. So JavaScript can do all sorts of cool things that will make your websites more powerful. And you can use JavaScript to add in some awesome features to your website. So let's get started. Over here, I have this index.html file. And whenever we're writing JavaScript, you can either write your JavaScript directly inside of an HTML file, or you can create a separate JavaScript file and link up the HTML file to the JavaScript file. In this video, and just to start, we're gonna be writing the JavaScript inside of HTML. So this is just a very basic HTML document that I have set up. And I also have it over here in the browser. So any code that goes in here is gonna show up here on the browser. And I can put my JavaScript tags inside of this HTML. So HTML has all of these tags, like we have these head tags, these body tags, and we can use another type of tag, which is called a script tag. And a script tag just looks exactly how you think it would look. So it's just script. And we're also going to need a closing tag. So we can just say script. And we want to put something in here. So we're going to say type is equal to text forward slash JavaScript. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to tell the web browser that we have JavaScript inside of these tags. So now inside these tags, we're no longer writing HTML. Now we're just writing JavaScript. So if you notice up here, like these tags are all highlighted because they're HTML tags. But if I was to put one of these tags here inside of these script tags, you'll notice that it doesn't get highlighted. And that's because we're no longer writing HTML. Inside of these script tags, we're writing JavaScript. So any JavaScript we want to write for this HTML file is going to go inside of here. Now, one of the most basic things that you can do with JavaScript is write something out to the screen. So here we have this HTML document and we don't really have any uh, HTML text or anything that's going up here, but I can actually use JavaScript to write content onto the screen. So I can use something called document.write and then I can use two open and close parentheses and then I can use a semicolon. And this is a basic JavaScript statement, which basically says I want to go to the HTML document and I want to write something. So over here, inside of these parentheses, we can tell this write function what we want to write. So I can basically make two quotation marks. And whenever we're working with text inside of JavaScript, generally we're going to put it inside of quotation marks just like this. And so now I can write something out to the screen. And generally, when you're learning a programming language, the first thing that everybody uh, learns is how to do a hello world. So we can write out hello world. And I'll save this. And what this is going to do is it's going to write hello world out here on this HTML document. So I'll refresh my page. And you can see that hello world shows up just like that. And that's sort of the basics of like setting up JavaScript and writing something. So I could actually change um, something that was in here, I could say, hello, Mike, and that would update here on the screen. And you could also um, do another one. So I could put like a space here and I could do another document dot write and we can type something else. So instead of saying, hello, Mike, I could say, this is a tutorial and that should show up right next to it. So now we have this whole sentence that's showing up. So I can use this document.write command to write something out onto the screen. And that's really just the basics, right? So we learned how to set up JavaScript using these script tags. We learned how to write something out onto the screen. There's one more thing I want to show you guys um, just in this basic lesson, which is comments. 
and a comment is basically a special piece of text that doesn't get rendered by the browser. So the browser goes through this document and it looks and it sees all these different commands and when it sees document.write, it knows that we should write out hello Mike or whatever onto the web browser. But when you use a comment, a comment is basically just a piece of text that is used for us humans. So it's not used by the computer, it's used by us. And there's two ways that you can create comments in JavaScript. The first way is using a two forward slashes, just like this. And you'll see that my text editor has changed the color of this code. And if I was to take this comment and put it in front of this document.write command, you'll see that hello Mike is no longer gonna get written out onto the screen because it's commented out. And anything that's commented out is just gonna get ignored by the browser. So you can use comments to comment something out like that. So if you have a line of code and you sort of wanna get rid of it temporarily without deleting it, you can just put a comment in front of it. You can also use comments to write little messages in your code. So I could do a comment and I could write like, this writes text to the screen. So I could write a little message and then if I came back later or if somebody else looked at this code, they could see, oh, okay, this is writing text to the screen. So you can write a comment, and when you use these two forward slashes, it makes the comment on a single line. So if I was to make a new line, you'll see that this line is no longer commented out. But if you wanted to make a comment that spans multiple lines, you can use a forward slash and a star, and then you also need to end this off with a forward slash, or with, sorry, with a star and a forward slash. So now anything inside of these star forward slash tags is gonna get rendered as a comment. So those are two ways that you can use comments to basically like write text that's not gonna get seen by the browser. So yeah, again, these are just the basics and if all this stuff isn't clear yet, just stick with it. You know, JavaScript can be a little bit intimidating at first, but it's actually really easy. And I'm gonna walk you guys through everything you need to know. But for now, all you need to know is that you can use this document.write command and you can put some text inside of these parentheses and it'll show up over here on the screen. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.